perfect too. You too. Okay, ready? Ready. Hey guys, we're gonna jump right into the tutorial. Now my daughter's hair is freshly washed. I love to work in sections, so for this specific style, I used three sections. I'm gonna let my daughter take it away and let you know what products we'll be using. Hi, these are the products we're using because it's the, um, because the common, okay, next, oh, the world is too, because the common buds, bye. Okay, can we just discuss how proud I am of my big girl? She did such a good job. Um, it's a little difficult when you're doing a voiceover because you have to look at what's on the screen and talk at the same time. I would imagine it's hard for a three-year-old to pick up, but she did so good. I'm so proud of her. Um, but anyways, as always, the products that I am using are going to be listed in the description box, so take a look at that down below. Now what I'm going to show you is that, as I said, I sectioned her hair off into three sections. Now you're going to see a lot of detangling and smoothing. It's very important for this style. You want your hair to lay as flat as possible on the roller. Now if you're squeamish with using styling tools like a Denman brush or a fine tooth comb, you'll want to look away. Um, I sped up a lot of the clips so it may look as though I'm pulling and I, I'm tugging. I promise I'm not, but like I said, it's super important because you want your hair to be detangled and as smooth as possible for a nice curl with this style. So again, be gentle, but make sure that you are detangling and smoothing. So that's what you'll see here. Now I wanted to show my method of installing flexi rods. It's not the standard way. I know you're probably used to seeing someone apply the rod at the bottom of their hair and then kind of curl or twirl the rod upwards. What I find that works best for me is I'll apply the rod, just kind of place it on our scalp and then we'll hold it in place and then wrap our hair around the rod. So whichever method works best for you, that's what I find is easier to get through quicker so again I'll just apply it in our hair and a slant or like a diagonal wrap our hair around the rod going down of course at the top you'll want to hook it over your hair just to kind of fasten it so it stays in place the bottom is optional so sometimes I leave it straight out if I'm confident in our hair staying on the rod or I'll just hook it upwards so that's what you'll see Another thing to note is with some of our curls, you'll see that our hair is more compact and closer together. And then some of the curls, you'll see space in between, kind of looking more like a candy curl. Um, to be honest, I didn't see a difference in the curls with taking our hair down and separating the curls. So whatever works for you.
So I wanted to avoid sleeping in flexi rods at all costs. It's super uncomfortable, I know from experience, and I definitely was not gonna put Genesis through that either. So what I did was I did our hair first thing in the morning. I allowed it to air dry all day. So I'm just taking my flexi rods out right before I go to bed. I did sleep on my curls and she did too. Um, if you do do this, I definitely recommend pineappling your hair if you can or just separating it with a few ponytails just so you don't disturb the curls too much. But this is what it looks like when the flexi rods are completely removed. Now, I apologize, I did not separate and fluff my hair on camera, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like with doing my daughter's hair. With Jay's hair, her hair is longer, so I was able to just put it in a low ponytail to help preserve her curls. Now, a few things that I want to, a few tips that I have for you if you are separating your flexi rod set. Well, I don't even know what to call these, candy curls? If you are separating your curls. Some people leave them like this, which is completely fine. I don't prefer this look, but what I would say is keep in mind, as you separate, the more times you separate your hair, the more voluminous it's going to be. So you're gonna get bigger hair. Now, as you are separating your hair, you want to make sure that you are being gentle so you don't disturb the beautiful curl that you worked so hard for and you don't wanna cause frizz. So be gentle, allow your hair to separate where it naturally wants to separate. So you can gently pull on the curl or like just kind of like stretch it out and see where it wants to separate. Slowly and gently separate your curls and then twist them back up just to kind of reinforce that beautiful curl that you want to keep. You love it? It's upside down, it's not upside down. It's not upside down, you're good. This step is completely optional. I attempted to use the edge control by Myel Organics. It didn't have any hold for me, but it left our edges super soft. Um, but from here on out, I'm just doing some more styling and that's it. So booze, this is the final look. I want to say thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Baby, we gotta see your face and your beautiful curls. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As you can see, I was inspired by spring. I love the season, aside from the fact that I can't breathe because of my allergies, but I love flowers. I'm a flower child and I was definitely inspired. I wanted to do nice, 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 soft, <laughs> bouncy spring curls. If this is outside of spring and you're like, Jen, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. It's a week away from Halloween or Christmas. Yeah. Then I want to wish you a beautiful day. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. If you're not already subscribed, take a moment to do so so you can see more videos from me. And I thank you. I feel like I say the same things in every video, but I thank you again for watching because it really does mean a lot to me. Thank you for commenting and giving me your feedback, your suggestions, whatever, all of that. And... Stay beautiful, drink your water, say your prayers, stay positive, do something for yourself, by yourself, and I love you. Bye bye, and love you again. Bye bye. Hugs, yeah. Oh, hugs, sorry. Mm. That was a nice group hug. I love you. I didn't want to put lipstick all over your cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys.